good welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate you much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will enjoy every content that i upload so friends i know some of you have requested videos from me please bear with me i am working on that soon i'll be uploading those videos please <laughs> it's not that i've forgotten you or i am ignoring you no guys but today's video i would call it an emergency video <laughs> Why am I saying that? It's because I cannot stand men who waste women's time on online dating apps. I've been chatting with lots of ladies on my Instagram and I come to find out that the men they're chatting to are just wasting their time. They let those men waste their time without knowing. Using my platform, I am going to help you out guys to know the signs of a man who is only prolonging that relationship but it will only end in tears. You will only waste your time. You need to know those signs or those red flags. If you see them with the man you're chatting to, know that this thing is going to end in tears. I better stop it. And without wasting much of your time, let us jump into our video right now. Sign number one that can tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship but it will not end well is if you're chatting with a guy on the site for more than a month but he has been telling you very beautiful words planning the future with you but he does not want to exchange phone numbers with you maybe you chatted and chatted waited he will ask you for the whatsapp number he does not do that and then you go to an extent of pushing more <laughs> and ask him his phone numbers then he tells you my phone crashed my phone cannot support whatsapp when you hear that better end it immediately because that relationship will end in tears you are going to cry my sister because nothing serious is gonna happen even if he's promising you the world even if he's telling you beautiful words if you like each other and he means those words why not exchange whatsapp numbers why why stay on the site <laughs> If you remember, those sites that I told you exist men who will only keep you chatting and you pay as you chat. So he is benefiting. That is why he is going to be protecting his benefits by telling you to continue chatting with him online. But deep inside him, he knows that that relationship will not go anywhere. So better end it. Shine your eyes. <laughs> number two when we talk of communication you're chatting with a guy online you like each other he is full of energy and then when it comes to exchange whatsapp numbers you tell him let's exchange whatsapp numbers he tells you no let us use viber let us use messenger let us use skype because i don't like using whatsapp you know that that is only an excuse i told you guys in one of my videos these guys that chooses to use skype they protect their current relationships that they have they don't want to be caught <laughs> so better disappoint you than being caught by the girlfriend he is living with or by the wife that he is living with that is why when you see that even if he tells you i'm going to marry you i am coming to africa or wherever part of the world you are to see you because i love you so much don't accept this guy is a big liar if he means his words let him give you his phone numbers let him give you his whatsapp numbers yes dear beautiful ladies if he doesn't you know that the guy is only prolonging that relationship and it is going to end up in tears <laughs> sign number two that will tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship it is not going to end well there is not going to be a happily ever after <laughs> <laughs> when you're chatting with a guy everything is going on very smoothly but when it comes to a video call excuses comes he tells you i am very shy i cannot talk on a video call i am very shy i don't know very well the language <laughs> 
or when he accepts, he's gonna open the camera and stay mute without talking. <laughs> But looking scared, you know when someone is not comfortable, you know that this guy is hiding something from you. <laughs> or some other guys will open the camera and immediately they close it, then tell you that, oh sorry, I have to go out, my mother called me, I'll talk to you in another time. Another time when you try to talk to him, he will bring another excuse. He will always keep on avoiding these video calls. When you see that, even if he has promised to marry you, he has promised to engage you, do not accept. This guy is lying. Remember, this is internet dating. Without confirming, you are not supposed to believe. Please, dear beautiful ladies. Because let's take an example. You are a lady, you're on online dating app searching for love. You want to be open to the guy that you're chatting to. If this guy is gonna ask you, please, can I see your house where you live? Of course, you're going to show this guy where you live. Without feeling shy, maybe your house is not all that good. You are going to show everything to this guy because you want this guy to believe you, you want this guy to trust you. That applies the same to the guy you are chatting to. He should be open with you, he should try his best that you trust him. Because when you are chatting, when you are dating, it's a long distance relationship, trust is very, very important. So if this guy does not want to bother to be honest with you, to be open with you, why should you keep on trusting him? Why should you trust that this story is going to end well? The words that he is telling you is gonna put it in action. Better end that relationship because he is only prolonging it. It is not going to end well. Sign number three that will tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship but it's not going to end well is if you have been chatting with this guy actually you are dating this guy you consider this relationship as a love relationship he is your boyfriend so you are girlfriend and boyfriend already <laughs> but you don't know anyone close to this guy not even his friends or even one of his relatives but when it comes on your side this guy knows your mother this guy knows your sisters this guy knows your friends isn't that funny guys <laughs> i've been telling you this and i want you to understand me before you bring the man you are chatting to on online dating apps to your family even if this guy has not yet met them in person it is on the phone before you bring him to talk to your parents to talk to your friends can you please first get to know this guy's family can you please get to be sure of this guy's life because it's very very important imagine introducing a guy that you are chatting to on online dating apps to your mother or to your friends but you don't know any of his relatives you don't know any anyone guys of his friends and you say that this guy is your boyfriend please don't do this mistake i've seen lots of ladies telling me that my boyfriend is coming i want to introduce him to my parents have you talked to the parents of this guy have you if not why should you introduce him to your parents please protect yourself from being hurt protect yourselves from the embarrassment guys please please so if you're chatting with this guy for one year and he's still telling you give me time before my friends get to know you give me time before my relatives get to know you then there is no need for you to introduce this guy to your family and you should end that relationship because the way it is going i think it has started with the wrong foot he will only prolong that relationship but nothing serious is going to happen sign number four that will tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship it is not going to end well it is going to be a failure and he is doing that intentionally is if you're chatting with a guy it has been one year two years or let's say six months but whenever you ask him questions so that you can confirm things 
he always tell you that it is private. When a guy has got good intentions with you, he is not going to hide anything from you. Nothing is going to be private. Trust me, he's not going to say, I am reserved. This guy is going to try all he can to convince you that he is a good guy so that you can stick with him, so that all your plans can go well. But if this guy is telling you, no, you shouldn't know this. No, it's not time yet. No, don't ask me that. No, if you continue asking me questions, then I am going to leave you. I cannot continue this relationship whereby I am being questioned. <laughs> He is only defending himself, girl. This guy does not have good intentions with you. He wants to just play with you. He just wants to waste your time. Better end it. Chat with a guy who is open with you. No matter what question you ask, he is going to answer you and he will keep on telling you that. Keep asking me questions. Ask me any question that you want. That's the guy that is ready to start a serious relationship. Please don't take these stupid excuses that the guys give you on online dating apps. And when he starts telling you that if you continue questioning me, I am going to leave you, then you pull back and be like, no, I'm not going to ask questions. I don't want him to leave me. No, you should ask him questions so that you can confirm and believe that relationship. Sign number five that will tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship, but in the end, he's gonna dump you after a long period of time of chatting, of believing him, or even arranging the wedding. <laughs> he's gonna leave you at that time is when you're chatting with a guy and then this guy tells you that, you know what? I am still married but I am planning to divorce my wife or I am in the divorce process. So you will have to wait for me for two years or for a year till I get the divorce. I told you guys, please chat with men who are free. Cause let's take an example. You are a lady, you are searching for love online. You come across a guy and then after chatting with this guy, the guy likes you. <laughs> <laughs> then you tell him, I am still married, I'm waiting for my divorce. Is this guy going to stick with you for a year or two years, waiting for you till you get your divorce? Of course not. So why should you wait for this guy? Why should you believe that this guy is gonna divorce his wife? Why should you date a guy that is still legally married? A serious guy, a serious, serious guy will never go to a dating app why he is still legally married going through a divorce process because that will be mixing a lot of things that will even stress him so a serious guy won't do that only a man who is not serious a man who is ready to waste a woman's time will go to a dating app while he is still legally married and lie a lady that I am going through a divorce, I'm going to divorce my wife after a year. He's telling you like that guys, so that he can get whatever he wants from you. And cause these guys are so manipulative, he's gonna manipulate you, make you do online sex, give him everything. And when he is done, he's gonna leave you. He will start ignoring you. And when he is done, he is going to be telling you that I am still legally married, I've not yet got my divorce. So you will keep on waiting forever. Better end it. Please don't waste your time. Even last time there is a lady I was helping. I hope girl you're here watching. <laughs> she reached out to me on Instagram. She told me, Bella, I've been dating a guy for two years. This guy has been very good to me. He even wants to come to Africa to meet my family. But when I told him to invite me to his country, he told me that I cannot invite you cause I am still legally married. I'm getting my divorce 2023. <laughs> and I've been dating for two years, guys. <laughs> so when she told me like that, I was like, are you for real? You're still waiting for this guy till 2023? How can you believe this guy? How do you believe that he's going to divorce his wife? But if he is lying to you, the guy is happily married. <laughs> and I told the girl that the truth is when you go to the embassy to ask for the visa, no one is going to ask 
the marriage certificate of this guy no one <laughs> and if this guy has got problems with the law how is it possible that he is coming to Africa to meet you it means if there is a problem he won't be able to travel so the same same reason that he cannot invite you it is the same same reason that will make him not to come but if he is telling you that he is coming you know that those are only lies the guy is still happily married do not believe him so friends if you're going through such kind of a situation learn from this don't believe in a guy that is telling you that I am about to divorce my wife. I am going through a divorce process. I cannot invite you. Yes, of course, he cannot invite you because he's still married. Please shine your eyes. <laughs> Sign number six that will tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship and it will end badly. It will end when he wants when he is done with you is if you're chatting with this guy and this guy is telling you that I want to come to Africa to settle down with you. I've had a lot of cases. Even last time there is a girl I was helping. She told me that she's chatting with a guy. The guy is 24 years living in Norway and telling the lady that I am coming to Africa. I am going to resign from the job that I'm doing here in Norway. Come to Africa, look for another job, settle down with you. How can you believe such kind of a lie? <laughs> <laughs> we all know how hard it is to get a job in Africa <laughs> even if he is a white man starting afresh in Africa this thing is only a lie a guy is trying to tell you like that so that this is a secret <laughs> you don't ask him to invite you in his country don't ask him to invite you in his country so he's going to chat with you very nicely tell you beautiful words you're going to make very very beautiful plans but in the end this guy will never come to africa to settle down with you if he comes he will only come to do what what take the goodies <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy the beauty of Africa then return to his country and keep on lying to you till when he is tired till when he wants he's gonna end that relationship by blocking you by ignoring your calls and messages so please shine your eyes when you hear that you know it is a lie another trick that most guys have been using and these guys are maybe in their 50s approaching the retirement age they will tell you that i bought a house maybe in spain i bought a house in jamaica i bought a house in africa let's say south africa or uganda so when i retire i want to go there with you but when you see that plan maybe remaining like five years these guys are very very clever he is telling you like that when you start talking of how to meet of course i'll have to come and meet you in africa because i'm not going to be staying in my country there is no need for you to come again here we go he is protecting his relationship that he has in his country he is putting some boundaries so that you cannot go to see this guy's true life real life so be clever it is very possible that this retirement house does not even exist so to be clever what should you do when a guy tells you i have a house in spain i want to go and settle down there as my retirement plan tell the guy that you live in america please first invite me in america and then we'll see if this guy tells you no end that relationship don't let a guy prolong a relationship that you know it will end badly it will end in tears <laughs> guys i am talking of these things because these are the things that i have been facing while helping ladies on online dating apps last time there is another lady i was helping then she was telling me she's chatting with a guy this guy is from australia telling a lady that i've started chatting with you you are in africa then i got an idea that my retirement plan will be in africa so i think i'll settle down in africa and then after two or three minutes he sends another message and be like i'll go to portugal and then after a few hours he brings a list of the countries that he is still thinking of where to settle down with her of course <laughs> 
So this guy is confused. He does not have a clear idea of what he wants. Please chat with men who have got a settled mind, who knows what they want. I told the girl, do not waste your time because this guy is only wasting your time and it will not end well. He is still choosing and choosing and choosing. He is not settled yet. His mind is not settled. Do not accept. So if you find yourself in such kind of a situation or if a guy comes and brings that story, remember what I have told you because the guy will only prolong the relationship and in the end, he will end it. To add on that, guys, I know if you are an African lady, I'm talking of African ladies, or maybe you are in Jamaica, you are a black lady, you are on online dating apps, searching for love, but your second reason is that you just want to leave that country and go to somewhere else, start a fresh, a new life. So if you're chatting with a guy and then this guy is telling you, I am coming to Africa to stay with you there, or I am coming to Jamaica to settle down with you there, but it is not what you want, why should you accept? I am telling you that chat with guys who go to the sites having a clear idea of what they want. Even you beautiful ladies, go to the dating apps while having your own plan of how things should go and if you see a guy you're chatting to does not have anything that is in your plan in that relationship there is no need to keep on chatting with this guy because you are hoping maybe he might change his mind and then follow your plan no you should chat with a guy and a guy with a clear mind you will see immediately if he falls into your plan or not don't accept to be in a relationship with a guy that is telling you things that you have not planned to do like a guy telling you i am coming to uganda to settle down with you but you are a lady who wants to find love on online dating apps and maybe go live in australia go live in canada go live in europe not in uganda not in south africa not in malawi <laughs> almost a big yeah be true to yourself because when you start going astray <laughs> of what is your original plan that is when you end up very very sad and then when this guy ends that relationship you start getting depressed but better notice the sign at the early age that is why i am here guys to help you out Sign number seven that will tell you that a guy you're chatting to on online dating apps is only prolonging that relationship, but it is going to end badly, is if you're chatting with a guy, everything is going very, very well, but when it comes to meet, the guy always brings excuses. The first time you planned, he brought an excuse. The second time you planned, he brought an excuse. The third time you planned, the dog is sick. <laughs> excuses excuses all the time when it comes to meat but when you look at your chats when you look at how you communicate the guy seems very very good and he even sends you money for your upkeep and that is when guys you get confused be like if this guy does not love me if this guy is not real why send me money now i am going to tell you why this guy is sending you money he is sending you money to buy your silence. He's sending you money so that you don't ask a lot of questions. He is sending you money to treat you as his object. He is sending you money to put you under his control. I told you online dating apps exist guys with sick mind. People who want someone to control. So he got you. That is why he keeps on sending you money. A hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred dollars. Or some of them send you fifty dollars every month. But they don't have any serious plans to meet you. That is why they keep on avoiding meeting you. Money shouldn't buy your silence, guys. Money shouldn't make you forget your original plan. Because your original plan to be on online dating apps is to search for love, to search for something real, to search for a man who will settle down with you, not money. Because that guy will keep on sending you money, ask you what he wants from you, and of course, you will follow everything that he wants because you don't want to lose that money. <laughs> And then when this guy is done with you, he is going to disappear. That is when you will go crazy. 
because he no longer talks to you and you no longer receive money guys you can do it on your own you can stand on your own please chat with men who stick to your original plan which is to find the one that will tell you that a guy wants to waste your time on online dating apps he is only prolonging that relationship but it is going to end badly in tears you are going to get hurt please stop dreaming come to a reality <laughs> is if you're chatting with a guy everything is good you have exchanged phone numbers and then you start talking of inviting you how you guys are going to meet then this guy tells you that i want to save for two years or three years before i come to meet you or before i invite you i know if you're a lady you have been on online dating apps for so long when you hear words like that you would want to give it a try and say that let me wait for this guy but the truth is this guy will never invite you this guy will never come to see you why am i saying that what i want you all guys to know is that these guys that go on online dating apps especially the dating apps where exist black women who live in africa before they join those dating apps they have a plan already in their mind what if i get a lady that i love what will happen how are we going to meet so a serious guy will come to the site prepared with a clear mind of what he wants and then when you guys vibe you will see this guy trying his best to know you better and when things goes well after three or four months this guy will tell you that let's meet and we are going to meet like this this month this date this year not a guy that came on online dating apps doesn't have a clear idea of what he wants then chats with you when you tell him how are we going to meet then he's like oh I have to save for two years i have to save for five years no when you hear that know that the guy is not serious he will only waste your time or some of them will tell you that we are going to save together so that we can meet those are only the manipulative words to keep you chatting with him and when he is tired he's gonna come up with an excuse trust me and that relationship will end after a year or after two years when you waited all that long that the guy is going to invite you so end it please don't waste your time i've told you a man who is serious will come with a clear picture of what he wants and what steps to follow after finding the one on online dating apps so dear friends i really hope this video has been of a help if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know your thoughts. <laughs> I really, really feel happy when I read your comments. I know you guys are there. You are enjoying my content and learning. <laughs> Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye.